Why is there such a range of skin color in humans? Studies on the genetic components of skin color indicate that at least three and perhaps as many as four gene pairs interact to produce a given shade of skin color. Four gene pairs would generate 4x4x4x4, 256, possible genotypes. Which is ample for the number of color variations found among humans. History The identification of the remains of the victims from the September 11, 2001 Terrorist attacks in New York City has comprised the largest and most difficult DNA identification to date. After 1.6 million tons of debris were removed from the site of the attacks on the World Trade Center. Only 239 intact bodies, out of 2,795, were found, along with about 20,000 pieces of human remains. In order to match DNA profiles to the bodies, personal items such as razor blades, combs, and toothbrushes were collected from the victims' homes. When possible, cheek swabs were taken from the victims' family members for comparison with remains. The identification process was still ongoing as of mid-2004. How widespread is the use of GMO crops? As of 2002 more than 120 million acres, 40 million hectares of fertile farmland were planted with GMO crops. The acreage is confined to four countries, United States, containing 68% of the total acreage. Argentina, 22%, Canada, 6%, and China, 3%. Can an innocent person be convicted based on DNA analysis? Current methods of DNA analysis are very sensitive, as only a few cells are needed for DNA extraction. However, it is possible for an innocent person's DNA to be found at any crime scene. Either from accidental deposition or by direct deposition by a third party. Also, a partial DNA profile from a crime scene could match that of an innocent person whose DNA is already in a DNA data bank. In addition, close relatives of SU-suspected criminals could also be partial matches to a DNA profile. What methods of analysis are used for DNA profiling? Both RFLP, restriction fragment length polymorphism, and PCR. Polymerase chain reaction, techniques can be used for DNA profiling. The success of either method depends on identifying where the DNA of two individuals varies.
the most and how this variation can be used to discriminate between two different DNA samples. Since RFLP uses markers in regions that are highly variable, it is unlikely that the DNA of two unrelated individuals will be identical. However, this method requires at least 20 nanograms of purified, intact DNA. PCR-based DNA fingerprinting is a rapid, less expensive method and requires only a very small amount of DNA. As little as 50 white blood cells. What is biotechnology? Biotechnology is the use of a living organism to produce a specific product. It includes any technology associated with the manipulation of living systems for industrial purposes. In its broadest sense, Biotechnology includes the fields of chemical, pharmaceutical, and environmental technology as well as engineering and agriculture. What types of samples can be used for DNA fingerprinting? Any body fluid or tissue that contains DNA can be used for DNA fingerprinting. Including hair follicles, skin, ear wax, bone, urine, feces, semen, or blood. In criminal cases, DNA evidence may also be gathered from dandruff. From saliva on cigarette butts, chewing gum, or envelopes and from skin cells on eyeglasses. What is the largest forensic DNA investigation in US? What is Starlink corn? Starlink is a bioengineered corn variety that was genetically modified to include a gene from the bacterium Bacillus thuringiensis, Bt, which produces a protein, called an endotoxin, that kills some types of insects. Bt endotoxin has been registered as a biopesticide in the United States since 1961 and the Bt endotoxin has been used by organic farmers for biological pest control. The endotoxins only become activated in the guts of susceptible insects. Because of the significant losses to corn crops caused by the European corn borer, scientists targeted the corn plant itself as a candidate for insertion of the Bt gene. Will two people with the same genes for a particular trait have the same exact manifestation of the disease? Penetrance is the term used to describe the probability that an individual with a given genotype will always demonstrate the matching phenotype. For example, a condition with 100% penetrance will be one where genotype always determines phenotype, 50% penetrance means that there is only a 50 to 50 chance of the genotype producing the characteristic phenotype. Myotonic dystrophy, an autosomal dominant genetic disorder, 
is an example in which there is reduced penetrance within a pedigree. In other words, some family members may have the trait while others may not. When was DNA fingerprinting developed? Sir Alec Jeffries, 1950, a geneticist, developed DNA fingerprinting in the early 1980s. When he was studying inherited genetic variations between people. He was one of the first scientists to describe small DNA changes. Referred to as single nucleotide polymorphisms, SNPs. From SNPs, he began to look at tandem repeat DNA sequences. In which a short sequence of DNA was consecutively repeated many times. Who was awarded two Nobel Prizes for DNA sequencing? Frederick Sanger, 1918, won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1958 for his work on the structure of proteins, especially insulin, and shared the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1980, along with Walter Gilbert. 1932, for contributions in determining the nitrogen base sequences of DNA. This method was later referred to as the Sanger sequencing method for reading DNA. What is TIGR? TIGR is the Institute for Genomic Research, a non-profit private research institute founded in 1992 by Craig Venter. 1948, and headquartered in Rockville, Maryland. Its specific interests are in the structural, functional, and comparative analysis of genomes and gene products. TIGR collaborates with institutions around the world. For example, it worked with the International Livestock Research Institute in Nairobi, Kenya. To determine the genome of the parasite that causes East Coast fever, a fatal disease of cattle in Sub-Saharan Africa. What are biosensors? A biosensor is a unique combination of biological substances, e. g. microbe, cell, enzyme, antibody, linked to a detector. It can be used to measure very low concentrations of a particular substance. An example of a biosensor currently on the market is the insulin pump, which maintains correct blood glucose concentrations for diabetics. How can genes be used to detect single gene disorders? Genetic testing can be used to determine those at risk for a particular inherited condition. There are more than 200 single gene disorders that can be Diagnosed in prenatal individuals using recombinant DNA techniques. 
also, since some genetic disorders appear later in life. Children and adults can be tested for genetic disorders before becoming symptomatic. If the locus of the disease-causing gene is known, gene markers can be used to determine which family members are at risk. An example of an adult-onset genetic disorder is polycystic kidney disease, which occurs between the ages of 35 and 50. These cysts produced by the disease will eventually destroy the kidneys. Prior knowledge of the condition allows both patient and doctor to closely monitor any changes in the kidneys. What are some examples of genetic engineering in plants? Genetically engineered plants include transgenic crop plants that are resistant to herbicides used in weed control. These transgenic crops carry genes for resistance to herbicides such that all plants in a field are killed with the exception of the modified plant. Transgenic soybeans, corn, cotton, canola, papaya, rice and tomatoes are used by many farmers in the United States. Plants resistant to predatory insects have also been genetically engineered. What is bioterrorism? Bioterrorism is the use of biological substances or toxins with the goal of causing harm to humans. Biotechnology can be used to manufacture biological weapons such as large amounts of anthrax spores. However, biotechnology can also be used positively to identify bioweapons. A new faster method of PCR called continuous flow PCR uses a biochip and requires only nanoliter amounts of DNA to detect a bioweapon what is bioterrorism Bioterrorism is the use of biological substances or toxins with the goal of causing harm to humans. Biotechnology can be used to manufacture biological weapons such as large amounts of anthrax spores. However, biotechnology can also be used positively to identify bioweapons. A new faster method of PCR called continuous flow PCR uses a biochip and requires only nanoliter amounts of DNA to detect a bioweapon what is proteomics Proteomics is the study of proteins encoded by a genome. This field extends the Human Genome Project and is a far more complex study than finding where genes are located on chromosomes. Proteins are dynamic molecules that can change according to the needs of a cell. And complete understanding of cell metabolism requires that scientists understand all of the proteins involved as well as their genes.
What is proteomics? Proteomics is the study of proteins encoded by a genome. This field extends the Human Genome Project and is a far more complex study than finding where genes are located on chromosomes. Proteins are dynamic molecules that can change according to the needs of a cell. And complete understanding of cell metabolism requires that scientists understand all of the proteins involved as well as their genes. What is a nucleotide analog? Nucleotide analogs are compounds that look like the nucleotides in DNA. They are used as antiviral compounds because the nucleic acids assembled with these analogs fall apart. Therefore, the viral genome cannot be copied and the infection cycle is broken. AZT is an example of a drug that interferes with HIV's ability to replicate its genome. By substituting azidothymidine for thymidine, thus terminating viral DNA reproduction. What is a nucleotide analog? Nucleotide analogs are compounds that look like the nucleotides in DNA. They are used as antiviral compounds because the nucleic acids assembled with these analogs fall apart. Therefore, the viral genome cannot be copied and the infection cycle is broken. AZT is an example of a drug that interferes with HIV's ability to replicate its genome. By substituting azidothymidine for thymidine, thus terminating viral DNA reproduction. What is tissue engineering? Tissue engineering is used to create semi-synthetic tissues that are used to replace or support the function of defective or injured body parts. It is a broad field, encompassing cell biology, biomaterial engineering, microscopic engineering, robotics, and bioreactors, where tissues are grown and nurtured. Tissue engineering can improve on current medical therapies. By designing replacements that mimic natural tissue function. Commercially produced skin is already in use for treating patients with burns and diabetic ulcers. What is tissue engineering? Tissue engineering is used to create semi-synthetic tissues that are used to replace or support the function of defective or injured body parts. It is a broad field, encompassing cell biology, biomaterial engineering, microscopic engineering, robotics, and bioreactors, where tissues are grown and nurtured. Tissue engineering can improve on current medical therapies. By designing replacements that mimic natural tissue function. 
commercially produced skin is already in use for treating patients with burns and diabetic ulcers. What is the Innocence Project? The Innocence Project is a public law clinic at the Benjamin Cardozo Law School in New York that uses biotechnology. Specifically DNA evidence, to reopen cases of people who have been wrongly convicted of crimes. What is the Innocence Project? The Innocence Project is a public law clinic at the Benjamin Cardozo Law School in New York that uses biotechnology. Specifically DNA evidence, to reopen cases of people who have been wrongly convicted of crimes. What is Gattaca? The 1997 film Gattaca was one of the first movies to examine the idea that one station in life is dependent on the perfection of one's genes. The movie explores genetic discrimination and previews the bioethics of using genetic information as a means of identification. What is Gattaca? The 1997 film Gattaca was one of the first movies to examine the idea that one station in life is dependent on the perfection of one's genes. The movie explores genetic discrimination and previews the Bioethics of using genetic information as a means of identification. What is a biomedic? A biomimetic is a chemical reagent that can perform the function of a biological molecule. An example is a small molecular mimic of erythropoietin. The protein that causes release of red blood cells. Dolly the sheep was the first mammal to be successfully cloned. What is a biomedic? A biomimetic is a chemical reagent that can perform the function of a biological molecule. An example is a small molecular mimic of erythropoietin. The protein that causes release of red blood cells. Dolly the sheep was the first mammal to be successfully cloned. What is cloning? A clone is a group of cells derived from the original cell by fission, one cell dividing into two cells. Or by mitosis, cell nucleus division with each chromosome splitting into two. Cloning perpetuates an existing organism's genetic makeup. 
Gardeners have been making clones of plants for centuries by taking cuttings of plants to make genetically identical copies. For plants that refuse to grow from cuttings, or for the animal world. Modern scientific techniques have greatly extended the range of cloning. The technique for plants starts with taking a cutting of a plant that best satisfies the criteria for reproductive success. Beauty, or some other standard. Since all of the plant cells contain the genetic information. From which the entire plant can be reconstructed, the cutting can be taken from any part of the plant. Placed in a culture medium having nutritious chemicals and a growth hormone. The cells in the cutting divide, doubling in size every six weeks until. The mass of cells produces small white globular points called embryoids. These embryoids develop roots, or shoots, and begin to look like tiny plants. Transplanted into compost, these plants grow into exact copies of the parent plant. The whole process takes 18 months. This process, called tissue culture, has been used to make clones of oil palm, asparagus, pineapples, strawberries, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, bananas, carnations, ferns, and others. Besides making highly productive copies of the best plant available. This method controls viral diseases that are passed through normal seed generations. What is cloning? A clone is a group of cells derived from the original cell by fission, one cell dividing into two cells. Or by mitosis, cell nucleus division with each chromosome splitting into two. Cloning perpetuates an existing organism's genetic makeup. Gardeners have been making clones of plants for centuries by taking cuttings of plants to make genetically identical copies. For plants that refuse to grow from cuttings, or for the animal world. Modern scientific techniques have greatly extended the range of cloning. The technique for plants starts with taking a cutting of a plant that best satisfies the criteria for reproductive success. Beauty, or some other standard. Since all of the plant cells contain the genetic information. From which the entire plant can be reconstructed, the cutting can be taken from any part of the plant. Placed in a culture medium having nutritious chemicals and a growth hormone. The cells in the cutting divide, doubling in size every six weeks until. The mass of cells produces small white globular points called embryoids. These embryoids develop roots, or shoots, and begin to look like tiny plants. Transplanted into compost, these plants grow into exact copies of the parent plant. The whole process takes 18 months. This process, called tissue culture, has been used to make clones of oil palm, asparagus, pineapples, strawberries, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, bananas, carnations, ferns, and others. Besides making highly productive copies of the best plant available. This method controls viral diseases that are passed through normal seed generations.
Can human beings be cloned? In theory, yes. There are, however, many technical obstacles to human cloning, as well as moral, ethical, philosophical, religious, and economic issues to be resolved before a human being could be cloned. At the present time most scientists would agree that cloning a human being is unsafe under current conditions. Can human beings be cloned? In theory, yes. There are, however, many technical obstacles to human cloning, as well as moral, ethical, philosophical, religious, and economic issues to be resolved before a human being could be cloned. At the present time most scientists would agree that Cloning a human being is unsafe under current conditions. How could a human be cloned? Nuclear transplantation or somatic cell nuclear transfer is used to Move the cell nucleus and its genetic material from one cell to another. Somatic cell nuclear transfer may be used to make tissue that is genetically compatible with that of the recipient and could be used in the treatment of specific disease. Or, if the material is moved to an egg cell lacking its own nucleus. The transfer could result in the formation of a clone embryo. How could a human be cloned? Nuclear transplantation or somatic cell nuclear transfer is used to Move the cell nucleus and its genetic material from one cell to another. Somatic cell nuclear transfer may be used to make tissue that is genetically compatible with that of the recipient and could be used in the treatment of specific disease. Or, if the material is moved to an egg cell lacking its own nucleus, the transfer could result in the formation of a clone embryo. What was the first animal to be successfully cloned? In 1970 the British molecular biologist John B. Gordon, 1933, cloned a frog. He transplanted the nucleus of an intestinal cell from a tadpole into a frog's egg that had had its nucleus removed. The egg developed into an adult frog that had the tadpole's genome in all of its cells and was therefore a clone of the tadpole. What was the first animal to be successfully cloned? In 1970 the British molecular biologist John B. Gordon, 
1933, cloned a frog. He transplanted the nucleus of an intestinal cell from a tadpole into a frog's egg that had had its nucleus removed. The egg developed into an adult frog that had the tadpole's genome in all of its cells and was therefore a clone of the tadpole. What was the first mammal to be successfully cloned? The first mammal cloned from adult cells was Dolly. A U born in July 1996. Dolly was born in a research facility in Scotland. Ian Wilmoot, 1944, led the team of biologists that removed a nucleus from a mammary cell of an adult U and transplanted it into an enucleated egg extracted from a second U. Electrical pulses were administered to fuse the nucleus with its new host. When the egg began to divide and develop into an embryo, it was transplanted into a surrogate mother U. Dolly was the genetic twin of the U that donated the mammary cell nucleus. On April 13, 1998, Dolly gave birth to Bonnie the product of a normal mating between Dolly and a Welsh mountain ram. This event demonstrates that Dolly was a healthy, fertile sheep, able to produce healthy offspring. What was the first mammal to be successfully cloned? The first mammal cloned from adult cells was Dolly. A U born in July 1996. Dolly was born in a research facility in Scotland. Ian Wilmoot, 1944, led the team of biologists that removed a nucleus from a mammary cell of an adult U and transplanted it into an enucleated egg extracted from a second U. Electrical pulses were administered to fuse the nucleus with its new host. When the egg began to divide and develop into an embryo, it was transplanted into a surrogate mother U. Dolly was the genetic twin of the U that donated the mammary cell nucleus. On April 13, 1998, Dolly gave birth to Bonnie the product of a normal mating between Dolly and a Welsh mountain ram. This event demonstrates that Dolly was a healthy, fertile sheep, able to produce healthy offspring. What is genetic engineering? Genetic engineering, also popularly known as molecular cloning or gene cloning, is the artificial recombination of nucleic acid molecules in a test tube, their insertion into a virus. Bacterial plasmid, or other vector system, and the subsequent incorporation of the chimeric molecules into a host organism in which they are capable of continued propagation. The construction of such molecules has also been termed gene manipulation because it usually involves the production of novel genetic combinations by biochemical means. Genetic engineering techniques include cell fusion and the use of recombinant DNA or gene splicing.
In cell fusion the tough outer membranes of sperm and egg cells are removed by enzymes. And then the fragile cells are mixed and combined with the aid of chemicals or viruses. The result may be the creation of a new life form from two species, a chimera. Recombinant DNA techniques transfer a specific genetic activity from one organism to the next through the use of bacterial plasmids. Small circular pieces of DNA lying outside the main bacterial chromosome. And enzymes, such as restriction endonucleases, which cut the DNA strands, reverse transcriptase. Which makes a DNA strand from an RNA strand, DNA ligase, which joins DNA strands together. Antic polymerase, which can make a double strand DNA molecule from a single strand primer molecule. The recombinant DNA process begins with the isolation and fragmentation of suitable DNA strands. After these fragments are combined with vectors, they are carried into bacterial cells. Where the DNA fragments are spliced onto plasmid DNA that has been opened up. These hybrid plasmids are then mixed with host cells to form transformed cells. Since only some of the transformed cells will exhibit the desired characteristic or gene activity. The transformed cells are separated and grown individually in cultures. This methodology has been successful in producing large quantities of hormones. Such as insulin, for the biotechnology industry. However, it is more difficult to transform animal and plant cells. Yet the technique exists to make plants resistant to diseases and to make animals grow larger. Because genetic engineering interferes with the processes of heredity and can alter the genetic structure of our own species. There is much concern over the ethical ramifications of such power. As well as the possible health and ecological consequences of the creation of these. Bacterial forms. Some applications of genetic engineering in various fields are, agriculture. Crops having larger yields, disease and drought resistancy. Bacterial sprays to prevent crop damage from freezing temperatures, and livestock improvement through changes in animal traits. Industry. Use of bacteria to convert old newspaper and wood chips into sugar. Oil and toxin absorbing bacteria for oil spill or toxic waste cleanups, and yeasts to accelerate wine fermentation. Medicine, alteration of human genes to eliminate disease, experimental stage. Faster and more economical production of vital human substances to alleviate deficiency and disease symptoms. But not to cure them, substances include insulin, interferon. Cancer therapy, vitamins, human growth hormone eta, antibodies, vaccines, and antibiotics. Research modification of gene structure in medical research, especially cancer research. Food processing, renin, enzyme, in cheese aging. What is cloning? A clone is a group of cells derived from the original cell by fission, one cell dividing into two cells. Or by mitosis, cell nucleus division with each chromosome splitting into two. 
Cloning perpetuates an existing organism's genetic makeup. Gardeners have been making clones of plants for centuries by taking cuttings of plants to make genetically identical copies. For plants that refuse to grow from cuttings, or for the animal world. Modern scientific techniques have greatly extended the range of cloning. The technique for plants starts with taking a cutting of a plant that best satisfies the criteria for reproductive success. Beauty, or some other standard. Since all of the plant cells contain the genetic information. From which the entire plant can be reconstructed, the cutting can be taken from any part of the plant. Placed in a culture medium having nutritious chemicals and a growth hormone. The cells in the cutting divide, doubling in size every six weeks until. The mass of cells produces small white globular points called embryoids. These embryoids develop roots, or shoots, and begin to look like tiny plants. Transplanted into compost, these plants grow into exact copies of the parent plant. The whole process takes 18 months. This process, called tissue culture, has been used to make clones of oil palm, asparagus, pineapples, strawberries, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, bananas, carnations, ferns, and others. Besides making highly productive copies of the best plant available. This method controls viral diseases that are passed through normal seed generations. Can DNA be extracted from a mummy? Yes, DNA can be, and has been, extracted from a mummy. However, the problem with extraction of ancient DNA lies within contamination from modern DNA. In order to minimize contamination, researchers usually try to get DNA from inside teeth or bone. Ancient DNA is being used to study the genealogy of the pharaohs of Egypt. What is Gattaca? The 1997 film Gattaca was one of the first movies to examine the idea that one station in life is dependent on the perfection of one's genes. The movie explores genetic discrimination and previews the bioethics of using genetic information as a means of identification. What is transduction? Transduction is the process by which a vector, usually a bacteriophage, carries DNA from one bacterium to another bacterium. It can be used experimentally to map bacterial genes. How could a human be cloned? Nuclear transplantation or somatic cell nuclear transfer is used to 
move the cell nucleus and its genetic material from one cell to another. Somatic cell nuclear transfer may be used to make tissue that is genetically compatible with that of the recipient and could be used in the treatment of specific disease. Or, if the material is moved to an egg cell lacking its own nucleus. The transfer could result in the formation of a clone embryo. What is bioremediation? Bioremediation is the use of organisms to remove toxic materials from the environment. Bacteria, protists, and fungi are good at degrading complex molecules into waste products that are generally safe and recyclable. Sewage treatment plants perform bioremediation in a limited way. An example of bioremediation is the massive cleanup in Alaska following the Exxon Valdez oil spill in 1989. The superficial layer of oil was removed by suction and filtration. But the oil-soaked beach was cleaned by bacteria that could use oil as an energy source. What is a vector? A vector is an agent used to carry genes into another organism. Specific examples of natural vectors include plasmids or viruses. In human gene therapy, Vector viruses must be able to withstand the challenge of the patient's immune system. Once the vector manages to invade the immune system, it must be able to penetrate the cell membrane and finally, must be able to combine its genome into that of the host cell. Vectors are also crucial to plant and animal genetic engineering. What was the first animal to be successfully cloned? In 1970 the British molecular biologist John B. Gordon, 1933, cloned a frog. He transplanted the nucleus of an intestinal cell from a tadpole into a frog's egg that had had its nucleus removed. The egg developed into an adult frog that had the tadpole's genome in all of its cells and was therefore a clone of the tadpole. What is polymerase chain reaction? Polymerase chain reaction, or PCR, is a laboratory technique that amplifies or copies any piece of DNA very quickly without using cells. The DNA is incubated in a test tube with a special kind of DNA polymerase, a supply of nucleotides, and short pieces of synthetic single-strand DNA that serve as primers for DNA synthesis. With automation, PCR can make billions of copies of a particular segment of DNA in a few hours. Each cycle of the PCR procedure takes only about five minutes. At the end of the cycle the DNA segment even one with hundreds of base pairs has been doubled. 
a PCR machine repeats the cycle over and over. PCR is much faster than the days it takes to clone a piece of DNA by making a recombinant plasmid and letting it replicate within bacteria. PCR was developed by the biochemist Carrie Mollis, 1944. In 1983 at Cetus Corporation, a California biotechnology firm. In 1993 Mollis, along with Michael Smith, 1932, won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for Development of PCR. DNA amplification is a method by which a small piece of DNA is copied thousands of times using PCR. DNA amplification is used in cloning, to detect small amounts of DNA in a sample. And to distinguish different DNA samples, as in DNA fingerprinting. What is proteomics? Proteomics is the study of proteins encoded by a genome. This field extends the Human Genome Project and is a far more complex study than finding where genes are located on chromosomes. Proteins are dynamic molecules that can change according to the needs of a cell. And complete understanding of cell metabolism requires that scientists understand all of the proteins involved as well as their genes. What was the first commercial use of genetic engineering? Commercial recombinant DNA technology was first used to produce human insulin in bacteria. In 1982 genetically engineered insulin was approved by the FDA for use by diabetics. Insulin is normally produced by the pancreas. And for more than 50 years the pancreas of slaughtered animals such as swine or sheep was used as an insulin source. To provide a reliable source of human insulin, researchers harvested the insulin gene from cellular DNA. Researchers made a copy of DNA carrying this insulin gene and spliced it into a bacterium. When the bacterium was cultured, the microbe split from one cell into two cells. And both cells got a copy of the insulin gene. Those two microbes grew, then divided into four. Those four into eight, the eight into sixteen, and so forth. With each cell division, the two new cells each had a copy of the gene for human insulin. And because the cells had a copy of the genetic recipe card for insulin, they could make the insulin protein. Using genetic engineering to produce insulin was both cheaper and safer for patients. As some patients were allergic to insulin from other animals. What is the Innocence Project? The Innocence Project is a public law clinic at the Benjamin Cardozo Law School in New York that uses biotechnology. Specifically DNA evidence, to reopen cases of people who have been wrongly convicted of crimes.
What is pharmacogenomics? Pharmacogenomics is the use of DNA technology to develop new drugs and optimize current drug treatment to individual patients. For example, the interaction of a drug with a specific protein can be studied and then compared to a cell in which a genetic mutation has inactivated that protein. Its potential is to tailor drug therapy to an individual's genome. A tailoring that could reduce adverse drug reactions and increase the efficacy of drug treatment. How has biotechnology helped thalidomide become popular again? The drug thalidomide was developed during the 1950s. It was found to be effective in combating the symptoms of morning sickness in pregnant women. Unfortunately, if taken during the first trimester of pregnancy. Thalidomide causes serious limb deformities because it interferes with the normal growth process of the fetus. Recently, it was discovered that the drug also has the ability to interfere with the replication of HIV in human cells. Thalidomide also may prevent the weight loss commonly associated with AIDS. Thalidomide actually has two mirror image forms, chirality, only one of which causes birth defects. Researchers hope that by using biotechnology they will be able to separate the forms and return thalidomide to their arsenal of disease-fighting chemicals once again. What are GMO? GMO are genetically modified organisms that have been created using new techniques of recombinant DNA technology. However, the term is misleading because almost all domesticated animals and crop plants have been genetically modified over thousands of years by human selection and crossbreeding. GMO are viewed with concern because of public debate over the safety of the products and the fear that GMO foods represent a type of biological pollution. The battle has been particularly intense in Europe, where GMO have been banned since 1998. Who was the first person to receive gene therapy? In 1990 Ashanti De Silva, a four-year-old with severe combined immune deficiency, SCID, had her white blood cells removed and replaced with a normal copy of the defective gene. SCID is a life-threatening disease in which patients lack a healthy immune system due to the inability to produce an important enzyme, adenosine deaminase. Although the treatment proved safe and her immune system was strengthened, the treated cells failed to give rise to additional healthy cells. In order to maintain normal levels of adenosine deaminase, De Silva must take doses of the enzyme itself.
How can biotechnology be used to manufacture vaccines? Vaccine development is risky using conventional methods because vaccines must be manufactured inside living organisms. And the diseases themselves are extremely dangerous and infectious. Using genetic engineering, specific pathogen proteins that trigger antibody. Production are isolated and inserted into a bacterial or fungal vector. The organisms are then cultured to produce large quantities of the protein. What is a biomedic? A biomimetic is a chemical reagent that can perform the function of a biological molecule. An example is a small molecular mimic of erythropoietin. The protein that causes release of red blood cells. Dolly the sheep was the first mammal to be successfully cloned. What is a restriction endonuclease? A restriction endonuclease is an enzyme that cleaves DNA at specific sites. Restriction enzymes are made by bacteria as a means of bacterial warfare against invading bacteriophages, viruses that infect bacteria. These enzymes are now used extensively in biotechnology to cleave DNA into shorter Fragments for analysis or to selectively cut plasmids so that foreign DNA can be inserted. What are the dangers involved with transgenic animal transplants? One of the major risks of xenotransplantation is the risk of transplanting animal viruses along with the transfer cells or organs. Since the patient is already immunosuppressed, the patient could die from the viral infection. Or the virus could be spread to the general population. What was the first mammal to be successfully cloned? The first mammal cloned from adult cells was Dolly. A U born in July 1996. Dolly was born in a research facility in Scotland. Ian Wilmoot, 1944 led the team of biologists that removed a nucleus from a mammary cell of an adult U and transplanted it into an enucleated egg extracted from a second U. Electrical pulses were administered to fuse the nucleus with its new host. When the egg began to divide and develop into an embryo, it was transplanted into a surrogate mother U. Dolly was the genetic twin of the U that donated the mammary cell nucleus. On April 13, 1998, Dolly gave birth to Bonnie the product of a normal mating between Dolly and a Welsh mountain ram. This event demonstrates that Dolly was a healthy, fertile sheep, able to produce healthy offspring.
What is a nucleotide analog? Nucleotide analogs are compounds that look like the nucleotides in DNA. They are used as antiviral compounds because the nucleic acids assembled with these analogs fall apart. Therefore, the viral genome cannot be copied and the infection cycle is broken. AZT is an example of a drug that interferes with HIV's ability to replicate its genome. By substituting azidothymidine for thymidine, thus terminating viral DNA reproduction. What are RFLPs? RFLPs are restriction fragment length polymorphisms which are variations in the short base sequences where restriction enzymes can cut DNA. By cutting two different DNA molecules with the same restriction enzyme, scientists can compare the lengths of the fragments, two identical molecules will have identical fragments. While two similar molecules may be largely alike, with perhaps a few differences in fragment size. These differences in restriction fragment lengths are called polymorphisms and are used in all types of DNA typing. How are GMO regulated? In the United States, GMO are regulated by the Food and Drug Administration, FDA. Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, and United States Department of Agriculture, USDA. What is biofarming? Biofarming is a relatively new technology in which transgenic plants are used to grow pharmaceuticals. In this technique, scientists bioengineer medically important proteins into a corn plant, thus spurring the corn plant to produce large amounts of a particular medicinal protein. This is less expensive than using a microbial fermentation chamber. Can human beings be cloned? In theory, yes. There are, however, many technical obstacles to human cloning, as well as moral, ethical, philosophical, religious, and economic issues to be resolved before a human being could be cloned. At the present time most scientists would agree that cloning a human being is unsafe under current conditions. What is tissue engineering? Tissue engineering is used to create semi-synthetic tissues that are used to replace or support the function of defective or injured body parts. It is a broad field, encompassing cell biology, biomaterial engineering, microscopic engineering, 
robotics, and bioreactors, where tissues are grown and nurtured. Tissue engineering can improve on current medical therapies. By designing replacements that mimic natural tissue function. Commercially produced skin is already in use for treating patients with burns and diabetic ulcers. What is a gene library? A gene library is a collection of cloned DNA, usually from a specific organism. Just as a conventional library stores information in books and computer files. A gene library stores genetic information either for an entire genome, a single chromosome, or specific genes in a cell. For example, one can find the gene library of a specific disease such as cystic fibrosis. The chromosome where most cystic fibrosis mutations occur, or the entire genome of those individuals affected by the disease. What is germline therapy? Germline therapy involves gene alteration within the gametes, eggs or sperm, of an organism. Alterations in gamete genes transfer the gene to all cells in the next generation. As a result, all members of future generations will be affected. What is transformation? Transformation is the process by which a cell or an organism incorporates foreign DNA. Transformation usually occurs between a plasmid and a bacterium. The transformed cell or organism then produces the protein encoded by the foreign DNA. In order to determine whether cells have been transformed, the foreign DNA usually contains a marker, such as the gene for penicillin resistance. Only cells with the resistance gene will be able to grow in a culture medium containing penicillin. What is a gene patent? A gene patent is a patent issued for a specific DNA sequence of a specific organism. It is common for companies to obtain patents for genes important to medicine and agriculture. What is bioterrorism? Bioterrorism is the use of biological substances or toxins with the goal of causing harm to humans. Biotechnology can be used to manufacture biological weapons such as large amounts of anthrax spores. However, Biotechnology can also be used positively to identify bioweapons. A new faster method of PCR, called continuous flow PCR, uses a biochip and requires only nanoliter amounts of DNA to detect a bioweapon. What is xenotransplantation?
Xenotransplantation is the transplantation of tissue or organs from one species to another. The development of this technique has led to the breeding of animals specifically for use as human organ donors. Because humans would reject a non-human organ as foreign, transgenic animals, e. g. pigs, are genetically altered with human DNA with the hope of suppressing eventual rejection. Who was the first individual to find the gene for breast cancer? Mary Claire King, 1946, determined that in 5 to 10 percent of those women with breast cancer, the cancer is the result of a mutation of a gene on chromosome 17, the BRCA1, breast cancer 1. The BRCA1 gene is a tumor suppressor gene and is also linked to ovarian cancer. Subsequently, other researchers were able to clone the gene and pinpoint its exact location on chromosome 17. What is recombinant DNA? Recombinant DNA is hybrid DNA that has been created from more than one source. An example is the splicing of human DNA into bacterial DNA. So that a human gene product is produced by a bacterial cell. What is CODES? CODES is the FBI Laboratory's Combined DNA Index System, which allows federal, state, and local police agencies to compare DNA profiles electronically. CODES uses two indexes, one, the Forensic Index, which contains DNA profiles from crime scenes. And 2, the Offender Index, which contains DNA profiles of individuals convicted of sex offenses and other violent crimes. What is Cody's? CODES is the FBI laboratory's combined DNA index system, which allows federal, state, and local police agencies to compare DNA profiles electronically. CODES uses two indexes, one, the forensic index, which contains DNA profiles from crime scenes, and two, the offender index, which contains DNA profiles of individuals convicted of sex offenses and other violent crimes. What is the ENCODE project? The ENCODE Encyclopedia of DNA Elements, project refers to a long-term project sponsored by the National Human Genome Research Institute to identify and locate all genes, including protein coding and non-protein coding ones, and other functional elements within the human genome.
What is the ENCODE project? The ENCODE, Encyclopedia of DNA Elements, project refers to a long-term project sponsored by the National Human Genome Research Institute to identify and locate all genes including protein coding and non-protein coding ones, and other functional elements within the human genome. What is nanotechnology? The term nanotechnology was coined in 1974 by Norio Taniguchi, 1912-1999, at the University of Tokyo. It includes a number of technologies that deal with the miniaturization of existing technology down to the scale of a nanometer. One billionth of a meter, in size, about the size of molecules and atoms. Potential effects of nanotechnology include microcomputers capable of storing trillion of bytes of information in the size of a sugar cube, portable fluids containing nanobots that are programmed to destroy cancer cells, and airborne nanobots that are programmed to rebuild the thinning ozone layer. What is nanotechnology? The term nanotechnology was coined in 1974 by Norio Taniguchi, 1912-1999, at the University of Tokyo. It includes a number of technologies that deal with the miniaturization of existing technology down to the scale of a nanometer. One billionth of a meter, in size, about the size of molecules and atoms. Potential effects of nanotechnology include microcomputers capable of storing trillion of bytes of information in the size of a sugar cube, portable fluids containing nanobots that are programmed to destroy cancer cells, and airborne nanobots that are programmed to rebuild the thinning ozone layer. Can pearls be genetically engineered? Pearls can now be genetically engineered because scientists have isolated and characterized the protein nacrane, which is the primary component of pearls. When nacrane is combined with calcium ions, it forms an organic matrix similar to that found in an oyster's inner shell. Can pearls be genetically engineered? Pearls can now be genetically engineered because scientists have isolated and characterized the protein nacrane, which is the primary component of pearls. When nacrane is combined with calcium ions, it forms an organic matrix similar to that found in an oyster's inner shell. Can genetic engineering be used to save endangered species?
as endangered species disappear from natural habitats and are only found in zoos. Researchers are looking for ways to conserve these species. Using cryopreservation, the Zoological Society of San Diego has created a frozen zoo that stores viable cell lines from more than 3,200 individual mammals, birds, and reptiles, representing 355 species and subspecies. Researchers maintain that there should still be continued efforts to preserve species in their natural habitats. But by preserving and studying animal DNA, scientists can learn genetic aspects crucial to the species' survival. Can genetic engineering be used to save endangered species? As endangered species disappear from natural habitats and are only found in zoos. Researchers are looking for ways to conserve these species. Using cryopreservation, the Zoological Society of San Diego has created a frozen zoo that stores viable cell lines from more than 3,200 individual mammals, birds, and reptiles, representing 355 species and subspecies. Researchers maintain that there should still be continued efforts to preserve species in their natural habitats. But by preserving and studying animal DNA, scientists can learn genetic aspects crucial to the species' survival.